Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and today I wanted to show you how to um, get a passcode lock for your iPod Touch or iPhone 3G that can be um, made up of any sort of letters, um, symbols, or numbers. Now, Apple gives you the option in the settings application to set a passcode for your iPod Touch, but it only lets you use um, four digits, and they have to be numbers. So if you're one of those people that likes to secure your device, this is good for you because if you want more choice to see what your um, password can be. All right? And there's no jailbreak required for this. The first thing you need to do is, uh, um, is have an email address. So um, if you have a YouTube account, you obviously have an email address because you need one to sign up. Um, hopefully you guys should have an email address, but you do need to set your email address up with your iPod Touch. So if you've never opened up the mail application, the first time you open it up, it'll prompt you to um, add your account to it. But I'll take you by step by step. You're going to go into settings, if you already have one set up or whatever, and we're just going to go into mail contacts calendars, and we're going to click add account. And this is the screen that will pop up. Um, the first time you open up the mail application and what you want to do is just basically select which service um, mail you're using so obviously if you use like Microsoft Exchange you're gonna click on that Gmail here Yahoo Mail there so um, if you want to use if you're using like Yahoo Mail just click on Yahoo Mail and you want to fill out all the information so your name um, then your um, email address and then your password and then a little description like my Yahoo account or Yahoo or something like that but um, if you have like, something else, like for instance Hotmail, which a lot of people have, you just click Other and you enter that in, okay? So once you have an email address set up on your iPod Touch, just like how I showed you now, you want to go onto your computer and you need to download a file from the first link in the video description. Um, this is from Alex Osh 1234s um, website, iPhoneExpert.com. Um, it's going to take you to one of his articles, um, and that will be the first link in the video description. And what it basically lets you do, as you can see in the title, is get a passcode with letters and numbers instead of a four-digit PIN. Um, you need to download a file from this website, but you will need WinRAR, so that'll be in the video description, um, the software WinRAR's um, download link. You want to click um, where it says uh, dot .custom password, just click on that, and it'll be a mirror, and you just want to click open with WinRAR, click OK, and it'll pop up with WinRAR, we can just X out of this. And you want to go into the folder that says custom password. And you want to drag and drop the file that says custom password.mobileconfig onto your desktop. And there it is. It'll be a paper sign if you're on um, Windows. But, yep, it'll be um, a mobile config file. All right? And now what we need to do is compose an email message. So I have Gmail. And what I'm going to do is in the recipient box, we need to type in um, for the email address ourselves. So we need to send this email to ourselves, or you need to send it to whatever email address you have set up on your iPod Touch. So whatever email address you have set up on your iPod Touch, send it to that address, all right? And you must do this from your computer. So you must um, compose an email and enter the address in of your own email address um, and the one that's set up on your iPod Touch. Then for the subject, you want to type in password, password, and then in the message, you can type in whatever you want. You can just click, like, click here or something, click here, and now you want to click the little, um, however you do it in whatever mail you have, but you want to attach a file, click attach a file, and you want to scroll down until you find the mobile config file that we downloaded. Click on that and attach it. Again, it's going to vary on what email you use, but for um, Gmail, that's how you do it. But you just want to um, attach that mobile config file to your email. And once you have everything there, you're going to click send. And that is all we're going to need to do on our computer. Now we need to go on our, to our iPod Touch. Go into the mail application with the email address set up on it, obviously, already. And it's going to check for mail. And we want to go to the one that we just got sent. So as you can see, it was sent for myself, Arjun Prakash. And it has a little paperclip sign, which means it has an attachment. So now what we're going to do is the attachment will appear below, but um, it'll be like something you can click on. So click on the thing that says custom password at mobile C. Just click on that. And it'll open you up in the mobile configuration file. 
And this is a configuration file that lets you make a passcode with letters and stuff. So you want to click install. And you just want to click install now. And it'll say installing profile. And when it's done, it's going to ask us to create a password. Now, this must be at least one digit, and it must have at least one number. So I'm going to make it high five. So H-I-5. And we're going to click next, and we need to confirm that. So H-I-5 and next. And now it'll say installing profile. And it'll say profile installed, and we're good to go. We'll click done. It'll return us to the email. Can click the home button and I'm gonna lock my iPod touch put it on and unlock it and it prompts me to enter the passcode that I made so let me type in HI5 now you can either press the OK button right over there or you can press return I'll click return and as you can see my iPod touch has been unlocked if I entered in the wrong passcode something like TR or something and I click return it'll save wrong passcode try again so this completely works and it is great alright now if you want to disable this because if you get sick of it you want to go into your settings application and you want to go into general and you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see profile and you're gonna click on that and now all you want to do is click remove click remove and it's going to ask us to type in our password. High five. Click OK. And it is removing the profile. And it is not completely removed. The next step we need to do is go into passcode lock in the general. And we need to enter in our password again. Click return. And then you want to click turn passcode off. Again, we need to enter it in. Very secure. Click return. And it's all done. Um, it's gone now. If I lock it and unlock it, I can go straight into my iPod Touch. Just remember, you don't want to lose your password because it may be tough. You may have to, like, remove the mobile configuration file or whatever. So don't forget your password. All right, guys? So um, please subscribe, rate, and comment. I hope you like this little video. I'd also, like you to t I'd also like to tell you to go check out my giveaway at this time. Link will be in the video description. All right, guys? Bye-bye.